Ah, uh, good afternoon, everyone. David Gross with Condi Systems back with you with Sprite. How are you, Sprite? I'm good, David. How are you? Doing well, thanks. Um, um, let's see. We had an error on Facebook. One second for me, please. One second. Just keep that going. We'll just try to get this going fast. There we go. Let's see if it works. We're running two broadcasts, and we want to get Facebook and YouTube going here, so I think okay. we're good. Hi, everyone. David Gross with Condi Systems, back with you to share a little of our wisdom for sublimation success with my sidekick, Sprite. How are you? I'm great, David. How are you? Good. So Sprite has been very busy working on lots of new products, and um, we're going to share a few of them. But always, we love to do you know, what I would call meat and potato stuff. Uh, what can you do today uh, to grow your business? What new opportunities are and, and how can we help you? So, um, Sprite, um, well, before we get to that, hand me that little critter here. I'd um, like to uh, call your attention to this. This is a magazine called A&E, and uh, it's put out by the great folks at National Business Media, NBM. You can go on uh, Google and just type in... Um, NBM, something like that shows, uh, we attend their shows, but this is the April edition, a little early, uh, just hot off the press, and you can also download the, uh, you know, a flip book kind of version of it, and our own Todd Till uh, did the cover, so very exciting, number one. Number two is that um, I wrote an article, and uh, I published um, some of my favorite tips. And I'll try to find it really quick here. Uh, ah, yes. Um, so it's, uh, you know, basically probably have a little trouble seeing it, but it's sort of um, 30 tips. And uh, on condi.com forward slash NBM is where the remainder of the tips are. So that's condi.com forward slash N is in Nancy, B is in boy, M is in Mary. And I just listed what I would call some of my favorite tips. Um, a few of the tips, or, or maybe more than a few, are what I would call um, crowdsource tips, meaning they came from folks like you. Um, and I am looking forward to adding more. So on our Facebook page, if you do have some additional tips, uh, just post them there, and um, we look forward to sharing them. You know, part of um, your success, part of our success, is, is all of us working together. And I love resources like the Client Gallery. Uh, the Client Gallery is your chance to show off what you're doing for the purpose of helping others um, see what is successful, see um, just the, the magic of, of innovation and design and creativity. Um, at the show we just got back from in Arlington, we showed a number of Sprite's uh, new stack metal pieces, and they're just absolutely gorgeous um, they were the the hit of the show um, and you know and, and those are just brand new things like um, uh, for instance sprites um, uh, new s curve kind of thing um, you know you you um, she's pushing the comment button okay got I'm, trying you. To, I'm trying to see if I can see the comments live but ah, that's yes. okay. let's um, let me try that really quick to see it if we can it never works when I do it okay it always does so, it when David does it <laughs> <laughs> Let's so, just, it's okay. Well, we're not seeing the comments. I apologize. We have Meredith back um, here. She'll let so, us know. So, but at any rate, um, the point is that um, a lot of the innovation we get comes from you. This is the S piece, and we've probably shown this before, but basically she just does it over um, a roll of paper. Really cute. So if you haven't seen that, we'll figure out how to do it. Um, so at any rate, um, uh, with that, um, what in the world are we going to do today, Sprite? We have some brand new 
letters, which are very exciting. These are in super high demand in the market right now, and we have been trying to source these for a long time, and we finally found a material and a substrate that is durable and inexpensive and sublimates really well. And these are our love letters. So I don't know if you, you can see them down here. I have L and O and V and E. I also have them attached to this wreath right here. Um, these letters are very inexpensive. They, uh, they're sold separately. All that we offer right now is the L, O, and the V, and the E. We're just kind of putting it out there as a test run. Um, but they're very, they're thin, but they're very durable. Um, I'll show you. We're going to yeah. call them. Our, our official name for them is, is uh, Shout Letters, I do believe. Yeah. And, um, and so, you know, we just thought it was, it's, it's your way of shouting to people through, through your graphics, through sublimation. Um, and we did, you know, we started out with L-O-V-E. A couple of reasons we did um, was to make sure that we understood all the properties of this new material. It's a material that um, really started with our ceiling tiles. We, in this room we're in now, we've got some sublimated ceiling tiles. And then we started using it for some of our notebooks that have paper in them and a few of the notebooks. And uh, you can think of it, I call it sort of fiber board, mm -hmm. if you will. Um, but we think it's a, it's a cool material and probably endless number of products. Uh, it's another what we would call base substrate, um, you know, uh, of things. And, um, you know, our goal was to come out with some letters that were affordable, uh, that were very durable, sublimated well. Um, and and I really believe this is this is the material. Yeah, these are um, these are just they sublimate so well. You can sublimate both sides of them. Um, they sublimate very quickly uh, in in a minute. So um, you know you don't have to do anything special. It doesn't require any kind of consumable. You just use paper and ink and uh, your pro spray. Um, so oh, and also they're priced very very reasonably um, if you buy them by the singles so if you only buy one I think it's going to be about two dollars and fifty cents and of course that price gets significantly cheaper the more that you buy and um, you do have to buy each individual letter um, but the the more we kind of feel this market out the more we kind of test this we'll start offering more letters um, symbols and things like that so uh, let's go ahead and Let's press one. Um, we'll press one and then I'll talk about what happens when you buy a, a pack of four. So we're gonna press, um, I have an E here because of course I have L and O pressed already in this really cute chevron pattern. So I have my, sub, uh, my um, transfer. I'm just gonna lightly mist it with Pro Spray over the garbage can. Can you talk about the availability? They are available right now. They are in stock. I actually pulled these from our warehouse here in Mobile. So you can, you can get them right now. You can get them. Um, all right, so I have it pro sprayed. I'm gonna want to just quickly lint roll it to get any kind of big pieces of lint or anything off of it. So we set it on there. Yes, ma'am. Right, we had a, a question about the rest of the alphabet. Can you just kind of restate it? So um, we're just starting out with the, uh, love, L-O-V-E, um, just kind of testing this out. You know, this is the first time that we're bringing something like this to market. Um, and there are, what, 32 letters in the alphabet? Is that I think, correct? Uh, 36? 26. Who knows? 26. I can say um, them backwards. And then, of course, you've got a few symbols out there that in our day and time are actually important like hashtag yeah. gotta have that so um, I would say that that um, given a little bit of time just to prove our our fabrication methods um, that that we like the thickness of the material it's not too thin, thin too thick um, then you can expect expect us to accelerate the availability of all the letters and uh, a few symbols and God knows whatever else we need to add to the collection, but um, I'm sure we'll be surprised um, by the request. That, that's one of the most interesting part of our business is, is people um, give us the most amazing feedback. That's right. And if you have feedback, please go to submit a blog at condi.com and submit your 
your ideas that you have for this, um, you know, any kind of uses that you would do, the way you would hang it. Um, so, you know, help us help you make all this stuff even better than it is. So that is submit a blog at condi.com. All right, so I've got my E stuck to my paper, just regular uh, SPP paper. I'm gonna use a piece of butcher paper on the bottom. I'm gonna place my uh, felt down, or I'm sorry, transfer face down. Um, the felt is, like I said, you can do either side. And you can use die trans or SPP, right? Correct. Either yes, paper. you can use either type of paper. Um, our markers work well on it. We actually drew directly onto the felt today and pressed it, and it looked really good. Um, so How if you, cool. I, so so you, you drew on them directly. I drew directly onto the fabric. Um, and as you can see, this is extremely light pressure. Um, it's just with the felt, with the... Um, the <laughs> the dimensional makeup of it is one of our sales reps told me today um, you know you want to use that light pressure so you don't smash it down so you keep the thickness in it and then um, it takes about a minute and once it's done we're just gonna let it cool between uh, two boards so it doesn't have any kind of warping and when we get done we're gonna have this beautiful kind of um, you know, very flat, so we'll, stiff the, piece. The instructions will be posted, you know, there with the product. Um, and, of course, they change as we improve our technique, plus as we get feedback from you. Um, so, so we'll continue to refine the instructions. Uh, by the way, the markers, um, I have received numerous calls from, I guess, unexpected clients talking about um, how much fun and, and success, for that matter, they've had with the markers. So um, that's sort of taking off like I, uh, you know, like I predicted. But um, again, you know, just uh, an amazingly flexible product. All right, so we're done. We're just going to take the transfer off. I have this um, cute little chevron pattern, which I'm going to show you guys and talk about this a little bit more in a minute. And I'm just going to press it in between a couple of heavy blocks, um, really for just about 20 or 30 seconds. The felt cools off really quickly, um, and then we'll get ready to display that. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and press another one. David, you can keep on about the markers. So let me ask questions, Bright. Yeah. Um, if you you are these easy to destroy? Could you tear them easily? So I. Uh, we did a demonstration today with all the sales reps and one of the things that I did was took a pair of scissors to them and you can cut them with scissors however you I doubt that you would be able to rip them by hand and I do have a couple that I've already done down here with some testing images on it and I mean you can bend it of course <laughs> It looked like there was some marker on the back. There of was that marker one. on the back of that. That was my test piece. So hmm. you can bend it, of course, but um, maybe if you grabbed it from the corner. I mean, I, yeah, I don't think so. Um, so one of the things that I am testing right now is um, what type of blade to cut it with. If you're going to try to cut it with a silhouette cutter, because eventually we will offer this as a base stock. You know, where you cut your on, whether you have a. Um, a cutter like a silhouette or cameo and so uh, again we want to give everybody all the options they could ever dream of with this new material sure so um, I guess it's just a general what are they so I got them um, right here so she's got her 60 second window or well, when she presses press it first there we go. So we have our sublimation markers here. These are fantastic. We had the best time with these. I, I felt like a kid again. Um, so you can color uh, on copy paper and press onto any substrate. Um, we've done tile. It's I guess sublimatable. Did, substrate yes. sublimatable. Correct. Yes. Thank you. Um, we've done tile. We've done um, the felt. We've done patches. Uh, if you want to check, we did a video two weeks ago on these uh, where we go into a lot of detail about them and we kind of play around. the Condi TV video um, by our young lady is now posted I believe for the marker so you can you can also watch her but again it's just it's a flexible way to add another dimension to sublimation it's very easy. All right so our E is nice and flat and 
sublimated with this cute chevron pattern, which again, we'll talk about that in just a second. We have about 10 seconds left on this. Somebody asked for Greek letters. So um, I knew there was a bunch of things like that out there. So that would obviously be a fantastic candidate um, to add to our 26 letters special characters. So oh, her, that's her right. comment, Sorry. Uh, Brent, uh, Meredith is is um, manning the the behind the camera. Uh, the comment was, "What about Greek letters?" So Greek letters, obviously, are a big deal. Um, We're just talking to ourselves. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, so, I mean, eventually, um, you know, like I said, submit your, your, your ideas to uh, s submit a blog at Condi, and we will take everything into consideration. But, you know, we have a lot of ideas, um, but we don't know what you guys want. So let us know, um, you know, be vocal about so it. So hashtag Greek letters, normal alphabet. Take um, photos of your product, of your yeah. um, of the things when you hang your letters. Um, submit them into our client gallery. You have the chance to win money every week, or is it week? I think yeah, we have a um, uh, client image contest that basically ends every Friday afternoon. Okay. Um, and we highlight a design that I think is, is both beautiful and innovative. And um, I love, before I do my class, <clears throat> I always go to the client gallery and pull pull an image, and it's very exciting. All right, so here you go. We have L, O, V, and E, and I just pressed the, the V and the E. Um, so this cute chevron pattern, um, you can see I have, uh, what, two, four, six, eight different colors. This is going to be available um, when you buy a set. When you buy a set, L, O, V, E, you're going to get this um, really cute art pack with these different color chevrons. And also I have a couple of videos up that are gonna show you how to change the color of the chevrons. Um, you can see L-O-V-E. So this is really cute. So, and they're, they're also double-sided. So what would be a reason or an application to decorate the other side? So we had talked earlier about doing mobiles. And so maybe like puncturing a hole in it and hanging it from the ceiling and allowing it to spin. Cool. Wow. Yeah. I've got a question about how heavy they are and thick. So um, I think they're about an eighth of an inch thick. Um, maybe a, I think that's a sixteenth of an inch thick, actually. So they're not very thick. Um, they're extremely light. They're just a, a, a fiber board. Um, but like they're a felt stable. Board. They're, they they're, are. they're stiff and they're stable. You can see it, it kind of holds up. When they're hot, when you first take them out of the heat press, they do have a little bit of uh, wobble to them. Um, but once it it warm or once it cools down it gets really stable and I mean you see I'm kind of bending it and it's going to pop right back into place so they're very sturdy um, it's a really good product so okay and just so yeah punching yeah. a hole in them and I guess it's easy to put a little hole in them so. and just to show you that's I was kind of playing with the markers earlier today is and that so, direct yeah that's and that's I colored directly onto it and it actually didn't look as good when I colored it, but once I pressed it, it really brought the color out, which you'll notice that a lot of times when you do sublimation, um, it may not look as good on the paper. And then when you press it to your substrate, um, it just, the Things colors just come pop. alive. That's right. Things come alive. That's well, right. that is cool. That is cool. Yeah. So there's just bound to be just lots of fantastic ideas for using this product. Um, again, it's just we're at the starting point and, uh, you know, our goal was to make them uh, affordable so that um, you could sell them at a profit, of course, um, and the product line uh, really could grow. And, of course, as it grows, uh, we should be able to maintain that affordability, possibly even um, go down in, in the, uh, the cost because of our volumes. Yeah. Oh yeah, um, so for wedding season, these would be amazing. Um, you can decorate them with themes, you can decorate them with photographs. Um, I don't know if you guys can see this reef back here that Meredith made. Um, this is really cute. She just kind of, I don't even know, I, I couldn't do something like this, but we just attached this with double-sided tape and these have hung on um, all day long. You know, they're not gonna go anywhere. Um, you could put them on your walls with the 3M tape, um, and so they're, they would come right off. They're not going to ruin your wall. Um, 
you can do it for tabletops, you could put them in the backs of chairs, uh, just really all kinds of things, all kinds of things. So, and you guys are super creative out there. So let us know when you get yours, what you do with it. We've only had this product for a short time, which we, we love to give it to you guys live first. Um, so, you know, let us know, let us know what you're doing with it, what you're creating, send us pictures. Um, you know, maybe we'll feature you on live. Yeah, and uh, one of the things that, um, just, just to let you know a little the inside um, development stuff here, one of the things um, I'm thinking about is um, potentially launching um, our new color light film um, as letters also. The color light film has some advantages because you sublimate and it's viewable from both sides. So, again, we've really fallen in love with letters, symbols, Greek letters, all those things, um, uh, just, you know, it's, it's the world we live in. Yep. Um, real quick, before I forget, I do want to uh, give a shout out to Todd. And I, I know that David said he did the, mag the magazine cover, and that's something that Todd does a lot. But he actually competed against quite a few people to get the cover of this magazine um, this month. So I'm super proud of him. He's my little office buddy. Way to go, Todd. <laughs> yeah, Todd. Um, Todd. Um, major accomplishment and, and it looks good as well. It also, if you look closely, um, it has uh, some things, some glass and acrylic. By the way, we have posted the cover plus my article um, in a couple of places on our website. Um, if we can make sure Bobby is, uh, is posted, you know, in different places on Facebook. Um, again, look at the device, see what you think, but um, certainly take a look at the cover. Uh, Todd, Todd did an excellent job. Yeah. Um, so one of the things that I kind of said a little wrong, um, with every letter that you purchase, um, you're going to get the art pack. So if you just want an L or an O or a V or an E, if you just want to kind of try it out, um, we'll send you the Chevron pack with it. Um, there is a video on condidesign.com that shows you how to change the colors, whether you're using Corel or Photoshop or um, maybe I'll even throw a little silhouette uh design studio video up there for you um so yeah you get this really cute chevron pattern with each letter purchase cool yeah cool the font is uh it's called bookman old style and uh, they're about seven inches tall um so and uh but we do have templates for each one <clears throat> excuse me um but for right now we're using this bookman font it's a uh, serif font as you guys can see it's really cute it's um kind of boxy so it has a really you know you can put it on the wall and it's going to really stand out on the wall very well um but yeah we're looking to you know change the style eventually and, and offer a lot more than um just what we have here so what we're really excited like i said this is a very very new product to us i mean we just did our demos for our sales reps today so you know you guys are the very first ones to see it yay Absolutely. Yeah. What else? So I did in our marker video a couple of weeks ago, I did a patch, um, a heat transfer patch, an iron on patch. And since then, we've had a lot of questions about patches. Um, I love seeing all the little hearts and stuff go across the, the screen. That's awesome. Thanks, guys. Um, but uh, so I've had a lot of questions about patches and we've just had a lot of uh, conversations about how to apply them and how to transfer them. <clears throat> So I'm going to press um, just one patch. I'd actually done two, but I, I did the size wrong on this one, so we're not going to do that one. Um, but this is our um, this is our bordered patch. It is item number P101W. It's a three-inch diameter circle. Um, before I press it, I just want to talk about patches for a second. Um, so my brother-in-law is huge into patches. He's constantly buying different style patches for, and he's putting them on hats or jackets or his jeans. So they're very, very popular right now for um, a lot of reasons that people wouldn't think of. Um, so I was gonna do like a name tag that you could put on you know, like a breast pocket for a uniform. Um, but really, what's really popular nowadays, if you go on Etsy and you type in patch, you're going to see just a lot of like retro images or tattoo designs or um, music 
a lot of uh, music merchandise, uh, a lot of bands are putting their stuff on patches because it's a lot easier to sell a patch than it is to sell a whole hat or to sell a whole jacket. So people will buy a $5 patch, throw it on a jacket, and it's really easy to do as well. So we're going to do this um, really cute owl, which I'll show you a little bit more when I get done. And uh, this is an easy thing to do. Um, the only difference between this and the letters is that you are going to use a piece of Teflon. And that's because the back has um, an adhesive to it that when you eventually put the patch on your hat or your jacket or your jeans or whatever, you're going to put the patch on. Um, that adhesive is what's going to stick to it. So these, you, don't, you do not have to sew these patches. You can just apply them with heat. So in order to keep that glue tacky, we're going to put a piece of Teflon down first. We're just going to pro spray our image real quick. The people on YouTube are asking yeah. where to find the Facebook Live video, so maybe just tell them to go to Facebook. Yeah, so um, I, I, I forget we're uh, doing two different platforms. Now, I keep referencing our Facebook Live videos. So if you go to Condi Systems Incorporated's Facebook page, um, we broadcast our Facebook Live every Friday, I'm sorry, every Thursday um, at 3 o'clock, and we keep a record of them. We put them on our YouTube channel also, though. We do, because yeah. we're, we're broadcast. So if you just go to Facebook and probably type in Condi Space Systems, um, you'll see it. Just like us. Um, and on that page, we've got lots of fun stuff, resources. Um, in addition, we operate <clears throat> a forum that is for our clients. Um, they, can, they can share within the forum. So if you're, you're a Condi client, then you have, have um, you know, a lot of motivation to uh, join the forum, um, be part of it, and share. Um, it's, it's, we try to make it uh, fun, low-key. Um, uh, just as a resource to help you. Um, obviously, we put all our Condi TV videos on YouTube and probably got, you know, I don't know, 1,400, 1,500, something like that, quite a few. So, um, this, you know, resources in, in really both places. We have a question about, do we have any patches without adhesive? Um, so the question is, do we have any patches without adhesive? To my knowledge, we don't. Um, so um, if you really wanted something without adhesive, then you could probably go and, and grab yourself some, some thick, heavy poly duct uh, fabric and, and um, cut it out with, um, with, with some sort of hot knife um, and... and um, and that would probably work pretty well. Um, I'll, I'll make an inquiry to see, you know, if it's possible. Um, if you could let us know, is this a traditional patch application? You're going to sew it, or exactly why would you, you know, want the adhesive removed? Well, and, and one thing is that, um, you know, the adhesive is not sticky until you apply heat to it. So. Um, you know, if you're going, if you're doing embroidery and you just want to do a sew-on patch, um, you know, you can still use these. Um, so, you know, I'm just yeah. yeah. All right. Um, so I didn't use enough pressure. It still looks pretty good, but we're going to do it again. Um, so <laughs> yeah, one of the things I I've done patches now for um, before Sprite was born, I think. But um, probably the uh, the trick if you're doing it we'll call it a full bleed patch with a border and we do have border and borderless patches but it's you've got to use if you if you want to go over the edge of the border patches uh, <coughs> excuse me you need to use ultra heavy pressure there are not too many things that I ever say to use ultra heavy pressure but that's that's one of them because you want the transfer to be pushed down into the patch area as well as sublimate to to um, the border, so um, uh, can be done. Um, going back to the Teflon, there's only three products that I can think of where where we want to use Teflon. One of them is the patches because of the heat activated uh, material. Number two is the mates material because that adhesive comes out when you when you smash it, um, and Teflon won't allow it to stick. And then number three is um, our little 
hot plate mitt thing, not the mitt, but just the hot plate pad, um, has some silver stuff that if you don't use Teflon on the bottom, the silver stuff tends to come off. Okay. Otherwise, avoid Teflon like the plague. All right. So even though this is um, still a little warm and it's, I mean, it's not even tacky. Um, if I would have pressed this, uh, I think actually I did because I'm always, I love to mess stuff up on live TV. I think a couple of weeks ago um, when I pressed it with the marker, I did not use a Teflon pad and I think it stuck pretty severely. Um, but you know, it, with the Teflon, the glue just comes right back off. It doesn't stick to the Teflon. Um, you know, and as soon as it gets uh, cool, it, it's not tacky at all. Um, so, you know, like I said, if you didn't want to apply it with heat, you just wanted to sew it on there, no problem. You could do that too. But let me show you guys these. Um, I did I did this one anyways. Um, I just kind of fit it in the border. So that would be like a good um, design for a, a uniform. And then here's just a cute little retro patch that you could put on really just anything. So. Yeah, and obviously the more colorful it looks, um, I love the, the blues and reds that we can get from sublimation. And so are we going to put it on something, or are you brave enough to do that? Um, I take it not. Well, so. I, okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, let's... What, you, what have you got to put a patch on? There? I do have a couple of... Um, ah, let's go for it. We, let's do it. So I was going to give a couple of remarks about applying patches. So... Um, Obviously, if you're selling patches, then um, you know you're going to want to provide some basic instructions for it. And um, our patches are pretty much like any other patch as far as applying them. But I do recommend um, that um, that the patch is on the bottom with the adhesive up. The the fabric that you're putting the patch on is on top, and so you're ironing or pressing from the back of the fabric. So you're pushing heat through the fabric into the patch adhesive. The patch adhesive activates, and and you know you keep doing it for a while longer, and you're going to have uh, very good bonding. Um, assuming the trick really is not hard, but you know you need to uh, move the iron around, if you will, um, so that that you're really going over the edge of the the patch area, so that you get good adhesion on the edge of the patches. So um, we're just going to do this quick tote bag and um, actually I just thought about this. I have a lot of patches myself. Um, I have a lot of band patches um, and owl patches. I love owls. Oh, I did an owl patch, didn't I? Um, <laughs> but uh, you know, I just use a regular iron at home and you just, you know, like David said, you just apply, you know, even pressure and you just heat it until I guess it yeah. just doesn't we come We need up to anymore. make sure we've got generic instructions that our clients can uh, pass along to the folks that buy the patch maybe even make it so they can just print it out and you know cut it you know out of a piece of paper so that it makes makes your job easy so you're not having to to focus on that so i just took a um a tote bag and i'm, I'm just going to do this in our, our regular press um, i place my patch on it kind of up towards the top well gonna... what i was saying i recommend that you do it the other way. That, oh, face that, the, that So you're heating it from, from the bottom, from the glue down. Correct. Gotcha. And because you, you, doing it that way, you've got to push heat through the patch into the adhesive. I'm not sure one's way is better than the other, but when my kids were going through Boy Scouts and Girl Scouts and all that, um, I had a lot of fun uh, eons ago um, doing doing patches, and of course. You know, I brought it up here and did it. I applied it with my uh, my heat press, but that's how I did it. I did it from the back, and um, I thought it, it it did amazingly well. Um, they're they're very securely on there. Okay, so that's good pressure right there. And how long do you want to press? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Um, I'm going to say, you know, maybe 35, 40 seconds, something okay. like that. I got it for 40. Something like that. By the way, one of the tricks is if you ever, if you're applying patches to cotton or whatever, um, or anything, and you scorch the cotton, in other words, you burn it, um, good news is there's cleanup on aisle three. You can take uh, peroxide and spray it on there 
um, and then uh, repress with a cover page and the magic of peroxide removes the scorching. Um, so um, don't know why it works, maybe somebody can tell me why, but indeed um, it is just darn amazing. So the owl comes alive there, there Sprite. Yep, there you go. So we let it cool for just a second. I always check my edges to make sure they're down. That looks pretty good. Let it cool for just a second. Because remember, it's going to be... Yeah, it's got to set. Yeah, while it's warm, it's still going to be kind of tacky and, and uh, pulley, I guess, for lack of a better adjective. So just adjective. think about how many organizations you can tap into, events um, where you make uh, on-demand patches, um, you know, adding an element of personalization to patches. Um, just so many great ideas. And, of course, you know, patches are not something new. They've been around a long time. Sublimation patches have been around a long time. I, I bet we've had them for 15 or so years. But I don't think we've ever gone to much effort to, to let people know the, um, the really neat nature of patches. Um, they obviously can be highly profitable. Um, and so we love your feedback on, on, you know, how this is going. Yep. How are they sold? Do you, do you remember? Uh, in packs of 25. So so you, you need to buy a pack of 25, but I bet we could figure out a way to sample you a patch um, out there and so that you can try it out, you know, sort of painlessly. And they're really, really low cost as well. I mean, they're way under a dollar each. So, um, you know, it's a great way to make money. Uh, so the better your artwork looks, um, you know, full bleed artwork obviously is going to be more eye catching. Um, you name it. Um, one word of caution, you know, obviously stay away from uh, designs that are copyrighted because that's not the right thing to do. Um, I, I've, we have a couple of Boy Scout experts here and there's, there's copyright with Boy Scout stuff. So uh, check into, you know, if you're, if you're trying to reproduce something out there, check in to see if, if um, that's okay. Otherwise, come up with your own unique artwork for for an event, for a uh, concert, for a festival, um, for um, you know, you name it, school event. Um, there's there's so many great uh, reasons to do a patch. That's right. Can you talk about how many different options we have? Um, yeah, and we do have a lot of uh, quite a few different options. I have the oval and the round here. We also have a rectangular one. Um, these also have the border on them, so they have, let's see if I can show you, they have what kind of looks like an embroidered border around them. Uh, see how it's kind of raised a little bit? Um, and we also have the ones that do not have, that are unbordered in round, uh, oval, and rectangle. We're looking at getting more shapes, so um, check for that. And another request we've had is to sell the patch material in sheets so that, that um, uh, you can cut it. I'm, I'm trying to ask a few people, um, you know, about that, so we'll, we're working on that. I don't know if um, these are better cut with a laser um, or exactly what is the, the best method to cut them. Um, obviously, if they're embroidered, that, that's a little bit different, but if you're using, the, um, using a sheet of the borderless material. Um, so the type of fabric that you can affix one of these patches to, actually, it doesn't matter. Because of the type of adhesive it is, it's going to bond to um, cotton, nylon, polyester, um, you know, just about any, uh, any fabric. Do you, do you know of any restrictions on a fabric type? Um, I don't. Um... The only thing I would be careful of is, of course, heat sensitive fabric because you do have to apply it with heat. So. Um, you know something like rayon that's going to kind of melt you don't want to use that of course but i think the tote that i just did was 100 percent cotton tote um no it was it was polyester i thought it was uh reveal oh let's see was it reveal nope no it is polyester i'm sorry yeah so um i think pretty much it's going to work on whatever if if that whatever will handle heat um, because that's how it's set. And I suppose if it doesn't handle the heat, then you're welcome to sew it. Yeah. Yep. And the material, what kind of the patches are made out of? It's, uh, the patches are made out of 100% polyester. So, um, you know, we live in, 
In the sublimation world, if you haven't figured it out, we live in a 100% polyester world. Um, so some people, you know, might find a 85% shirt, but but um, you know, it's it's every day. There's there's just so much available for sublimation. It's it's mind-boggling. That really um, did well. It 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 really feels like it was sewn. Yeah. Um, it has has that sturdy a feel to it. Yeah. Okay. Any so. any other questions, Meredith, about um, about patches? That's, yep, bikers. bikers. I've had a few people over the years ask for humongous patches, um, and so um, we'll check into it, see, see um, you know, what we can do there. Um, other questions? Nope. People saw you at MBM. Ah, okay. So Meredith is letting me know that uh, people saw at MBM. We had a great time there at the Arlington Convention Center for NBM. Uh, you know, and uh, our class, uh, uh, Jeff's and my class, was a little bit beyond standing room only. We had a great, great uh, show. Uh, went a little over, and uh, nobody threw anything at me, so I consider that a that a win. Um, but it was it was a uh, it was a very good show. Um, you can see my presentation if you wish on condi.com forward slash nbm. Um, I did. I think I've posted um, the the a PDF of my presentation, so you can see what I, I go through. Um, next um, show is in Sacramento, um, sometime next month. So we're 13th, look, 14th. okay. Thirteenth and fourteenth. That's a two-day show, um, and we'll be teaching our class. And I believe Doug uh, Dewitt will also be teaching his. Um, heat transfer class so a lot of fun uh, so please come out um, and um, you know we can provide you a free um, entrance you know to get in um, I think pretty much everything's free so that's a that's a good thing okay what else okay so um, I'm sure you guys can see all the clocks over here in front of David um, so in honor of daylight savings time we do um, have kind of a new thing going on with all of our clocks um, it, all of our clocks, except for the mantle clock, which is the big stand-up clock, are now sold by the eaches. Um, yeah, that's the mantle clock. Yeah, here's this is the mantle clock. So you do have to buy this by the pair still, but all of our um, round face clocks are now sold by the eaches. We also have, a, I think, a little four by four square, which is sold by the each as well. And um, for the month, for the month of March. Um, every time you purchase a clock, you will receive a free art pack with that clock. So you'll have the um, the numerals and then a really pretty design on the inside. Not the mantle clock, though. For the round ones. For the round ones, yes. Yeah, one of the issues for people like me that are really a good cut and paste artist, if you will, um, is, you know, how do I get the, the numbers and all that and make it look good? And that's where talented people like Sprite come into it to... Um, give you a head start on a great clock design. So um, think about all the reasons people might want to buy a clock. Um, just uh, yeah, and you can see we have uh, quite a few designs over here. Um, we have like a school design, and then um, you know a hotel. Um, we have just just a really cute uh, floral design. You could put a name on it. Um, we have a sports team. Uh, you know a wedding with an initial uh, monogram and then we just have kind of a like a man I guess I would call it a man cave clock um, but you know everybody needs a clock everybody needs to tell time I mean we all have our phones but you know I still I think I have a clock in every room in my house um, and they're also really good to pair with um, our light switch covers and desk plates and you know you can just do a whole decor out of um, the clock and then uh, the other sublimatable items that we offer. Can you buy the mechanisms separate? So the question is, can you buy the mechanisms separately? I, I don't, don't know, know the question to that. I don't think you can. I, yeah, I don't think so. I think you have to buy the whole thing. Um, so really... But if you have an F1 that's obviously doesn't work or something, obviously we can take care of it yeah. uh, here. So maybe if you could clarify why you'd want to buy them separately. Um, 
they're they're good mechanisms i've got clock hanging above our kitchen table it's been there for 10 years or so and um, replace the battery every once in a while and then get up to you know move it forward or move it backwards yeah and they, like david said they all run on one single double a battery um there are a couple of different types of finishes. You have um, the clear finish here, these two. Um, the one that says AHS on it is a white finish. Um, you have a hardboard, which is the big one here. Um, this one uh, comes in aluminum and hardboard with the frame on it. And then this is an FRP, which is a um, fiber reinforced plastic. This is a cool clock here. You would like That's the man cool. cave clock. Yeah, nice and big, you know. Yeah. Oh, cool. Definitely. All right. And remember, anytime you purchase one of the round-faced ones, you get a free design um, that you can use and, and personalize. And that's something they just request from their Condi rep? Correct, yes. Mm -hmm. The mechanism question said sometimes the hands don't fit, and so that's what she would want to do. Yeah, and I, I would say I've certainly heard of that as there are a couple of different mechanisms I've seen over the years. Um, and, you know, if it does come up, just let us know. We'll figure out what to do. Yeah, so Meredith said um, the, the question about the mechanism was sometimes the hands don't fit. So if you ever have any kind of problems, any issue at all, you know, if you, you buy a product or a substrate and you're not happy with it or you have a question about it, please call us, call tech support, call your sales rep, let us know. We'll, um, you know, we'll be more than happy to work everything out with you. So. Yeah, and ultimately you could come up with your own clock. I mean, you could yeah. drill a hole in the, the S panel here that, that Sprite did and put a mechanism on the other side. Of course, you could see it, but there's there's all sorts of opportunities for you to come up with your, your own uh, personalization and um, um, Keep seeing a piece, this piece over here. Keeps it, I know it, it keeps, keeps moving. Looking there, See? and um, <laughs> yeah, over the years there's been a lot of clocks around here. So um, always um, a good product, and you know you pick any substrate and yep. probably drill a hole in it. Um, and you're good to go. That's right. And this, these are not all the clocks that we offer. Um, we do have um, a big, um, I think it's called a chamfer. That's uh, what I was looking yeah, for. Yeah, the big. Pl uh, I have it over there on the wall. The big. Um, it's a plaque. Uh, that has the mechanism in it. We have a smaller plaque that has a mechanism in it. Um, so, you know, if you just go to our condi.com and you look on the drop down menu at clocks, it'll show you all of the clocks. But um, I'm oh, only yeah. offering the art pack for the round ones, so that's why I did the round ones today. Yeah, we, uh, this is a, a room that's seen a lot of sublimation products over the years. And uh, this is, and Meredith is wrestling with um, getting it off the wall. Uh -oh. And, um, you know, so thank you, Meredith. So, um, you see the little this, it could be a um, corporate recognition kind of gift. Yeah. Um, definitely something, you know, like a company would win an award or be recognized or you name it. Um, so, uh, great product. I assume that's about, um, looks like. I think it's like a 9 by 11, maybe 12, 9 by 12. I'm not sure. No, it looks a little bit bigger than that. Um, let's see here. So I think that's probably right at uh, 10, something like that, I guess, maybe. Um, but fairly large, so. OK, so, um, <clears throat> so this clock comes with the keyholes already in it. Um, I don't know if you can see that. So just like all of our Unisub, or most of our Unisub uh, plaques, they have the keyhole in them. And you can't screw it up because there's a keyhole at every side. All four sides, which, trust me, <laughs> that makes a big difference. <laughs> How many times have you sublimated something and then go to hang it up and the keyhole's on the bottom? About half the time, actually. Sure, why not? Because I forget to look. But uh, when I finally started putting it on the wall of shame, um, I started remembering a little bit more to check. That's right. Always remember your mistakes. Um, so um, this one that has the, the black frame has a little uh, hole that you um, just hang it. Our... That one's really been a favorite over the yeah. years. This one is just a desktop model. It comes with a stand. Um, so you just kind of, you know, you just stand it on your desk. This is, you know, just you would put it on your counter. Um, all of our other ones uh, in the mechanism itself, they have um, little holes 
that you could put a, a, a nail and hang it. So they are all ready to hang. Um, I think that this one, which I don't know, this is a pretty old clock, but I think that this one is actually the only one. I think we don't actually have a mechanism on that one, so, so the you mechanism would, use, would hang. Yeah. Yeah. So you would use um, the. Well, you know what? Uh, I don't even know. Yeah. Yeah. No, this one, it, the mechanism would hang as well. Um, this is kind of broken. It's an old one, and I pulled it off the wall and messed it up. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so they're all. That's really good. I like it. Yeah. Todd did that one. Go Todd. Um, so they all are self hanging. You don't have to purchase anything in addition to hang these um, other than the desktop model, which is just for the desktop. So, so having a great head start on your design with Sprite Sart Pack, um, big deal. And of course, once you master you know, the numbers, then um, who knows? You might be able to come up with some interesting. Um, April uh, Fool's uh, clocks that um, maybe are have some numbers that go backwards or something. Who knows what yeah. fun you could have with uh, with people? Yeah, no. creativity knows no bounds. So what else, Miss Bright? Um, you know what, David? I think that's it for today. Okay. So uh, any any uh, questions out there could be unrelated to what we're we're talking about today. As always, we love your feedback. Uh, we love to hear um, your work, what you're doing. It certainly inspires us uh, to, to share and, of course, to create new products, new substrates. Um, as always, um, let us know. Yeah. Sub okay. Submit a blog at condi.com. Give us your ideas. Give us your photos. Let us know what you're doing. Um, you know, there's always a chance that you could walk away with some condi bucks or... We can feature you here um, live on Facebook or YouTube. Yeah. By the way, we have our open house coming up. And when is our open house? June the 2nd. June 2nd. And so that's here in Mobile. You could plan, have a little extended trip here to go to the beach. We've got beautiful beaches, Orange Beach, Gulf Shores. We're about an hour from Pensacola Beach. We have Dolphin Island. Uh, you're about a little over two hours from New Orleans. So got lots of opportunities um, if you come down it'll be an all-day event um, well I say all day 10 to maybe 3 and uh, we'll feed you of course we got great food um, we have a number of great instructors including yours truly here uh, Miss Bright and that guy along with uh, well I'm just gonna be wandering around uh, Roger Wambach from Corel uh, who lives in Canada will be coming back to Mobile again to give his classes on Saturday. And then um, I believe Jimmy Lamb will be coming into town um, to, to teach you all about um, Creative Studio for those that, that um, use Creative Studio. Um, uh, the kiosk will be running. Uh, Doug will be doing his demonstrations. Of course, you'll get to uh, wander around and we're sort of like a candy store there's there's just a lot of stuff to see and touch um, meet our crew um, have fun um, and last year was just just amazing event uh, for those that can't make it um, I'm gonna figure out a way to uh, live stream our classes yep. um, um, so you know I want everybody to sort of uh, feel the the opportunities here at the uh, open house and the classes to me are are quite good um, so plus we'll do some other stuff but you know uh, look forward to it and um, I want to make sure also our open house specials are also available to folks that even if you're unable to attend you can still tap into the excitement and, and uh, fun of our our specials Saturday, June the second. Saturday, June the second, yep. uh, which is a Saturday, of course, from ten till three. Um, so, if you haven't been down this area, we live basically on the Gulf of Mexico, uh, right there between Pensacola, uh, New Orleans. So, uh, we would love to have you come down and visit. Uh, otherwise, um, catch us at some of the trade shows around the country. Um, I teach at all the NBM shows at nbmshows.com or something close to that. Um, recommend you subscribe to A&E Magazine. The, the folks are great there. Um, so with that, um, 
Yeah. One so, light question yeah. about the material of the letters. Yeah. Just a repeat of what that is. So I, the question is about what is this material, and um, I'm sorry, I, we we have a number of people tell us different names for it. Um, so some people call it fiberboard. Um, so that's a felt board is another one. It's obviously st a stiff felt. Um, we've used a thick version for our ceiling tiles for years. Um, so this is, um, you know, felt board, fiber board, um, obviously made of 100% polyester. Um, it's, it's under the class of what I would call a non-woven. Um, so just an easy product to deal with. Um, very strong and very durable. Yeah, definitely. And it looks great when it's sublimated, so. You got it, you got yeah. it. So uh, check us out on YouTube, check us out on Facebook, Condi Systems, David Gross, Sprite. Thank Wood. you, Sprite. Thanks, guys. Take care.